At some point during their lifetime, one in four women will be the victim of a sexual assault. One in 33 men will be a victim, and these numbers are rising. That's where Conversa comes in to help in the prosecution of these types of crimes, to help in the evidence gathering. Carolyn Cordell from Conversa is here to talk about the organization and this first kind of big public fundraiser that you guys have coming up in a couple of weeks. Thank you yes. so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, Conversa, it's an acronym. What does it stand for? It stands for Collection of Victim Evidence Regarding Sexual Assault. So what you're collecting here is that really essential forensic evidence um, to really help um, in, you know, catching who committed this crime. Yes. When a patient presents to us in the ER and they want an exam, we come in and we basically listen to their story and collect evidence based on their story. Mm -hmm. Our first and foremost concern though is that they're okay both medically and psychologically. And you guys are made up of nurses. Yes, we have 11 nurses that mm -hmm. are staffed and we cover eight different hospitals in the, in the Kansas City area. Now when you say you cover eight different hospitals in the Kansas City area, normally you think you know doctors would do this or someone would go to a hospital and this would get taken care of, but obviously we know hospitals are kind of overtaken. They're very busy. So are you supposed right. to supplement the hospitals? What this thing? is, is these we have 40 hours of training in forensics in order to become a sane nurse um, and these exams can take up to six hours so this is not something that doctors are willing to do or can do and then we have to go in and, and testify as expert witnesses mm -hmm. but so important and you know like so many nonprofit agencies over the last few years funding has become a problem you guys yes. relied heavily on grants you're kind of losing some of that funding so now you're reaching out to the public yes our funding has been cut by almost a third from the Department of Public Safety. Mm -hmm. So we are now having to reach out to supplement. Yeah. Well, when you think about it, I mean, you guys have a great, great success rate in terms of yes. prosecution. It, of it'll clients. increase 95% when you're using a sane nurse. Yeah. Prosecution rates do. Absolutely. And when prosecution rates are high, I think that also encourages then victims of sexual abuse to, you know, report the crime that's as well. what we're trying we had a huge increase last year 67 percent so we don't know if that's that the reporting more or if the incidents are up more i'm hoping it's more reporting yeah all right so let's talk about this faux pas ball yes. very quickly we've got the information we want to put up on your yes. screen it's the first annual conversa faux pas ball you're really asking people to kind of go a little crazy yes we are how they dress yes we are we were at the thrift stores last night looking for outfits yeah, so it's supposed to be a lot of it, a lot of fun. It's at the Madrid Theater on Main Street next week, Friday, February 17th, 7 p.m. until midnight. Tickets really not that bad. 35 bucks per person, 60 bucks for a couple. The event again, tacky formal, so wear your tacky as getup. Make a lasting impression. It's going to be a lot of fun. And Carolyn, it's going to a great cause, something that's so important in our community. I agree. I agree. Thank you. All right, Carolyn Cordell, thank you so much.